What time is it, my creators? That's right, it's photo hacking time, and it's Charlotte Salcedo, your host, and today we're going to be discussing how to get Google Fonts to show up on mobile. So as you can see here, I'm building a website, and I've done all the CSS, all the hard work here, and you see these beautiful fonts that I've added here through Google Fonts API. If you wanna know how to add a Google Fonts to your API WordPress site, um, I can show you that in another video. Just give a like and a thumbs up in the comments and I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. But most themes and templates for WordPress already have Google Fonts. The only problem is, is that most of them are coded incorrectly, which don't have the header function that uh, basically imports the, the CSS styles of the Google Fonts. Now, to not blow your mind with all the techie mumbo jumbo, I'm gonna explain it to you stupid fucking simple. All right, here we go. Now, something that you might not know is that the new WordPress uh, protocols or whatever you wanna call them, they have disabled the editor in um, WordPress. So you can no longer edit your code files directly in WordPress because it's a security issue. So what we have to do is um, <clears throat> you have to go over, log into your host, wherever your domain name is. I use SiteGround because it's the best. And log into your header.php file. And right here, right before the header tag, you're going to import your fonts, your Google fonts, into the header header tag. And I know this looks crazy, but it's super, super stupid simple. Okay, so we're gonna go over to Google fonts and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So this is Google fonts, fonts.google.com. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to your theme and on your heading, look up all the fonts or keep like when you're designing your site, keep a diary or like keep a list of the fonts that you use. If not, some of the themes have a thing where you can just like look and I can see here that I used, oh, I used Via, Via, Via Doa Libre. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. And then um, I used uh, Sensita and I used, well, it doesn't say there. there. And I use something else uh, for the paragraphs. I use Abre Libre, and I I used, and then for the theme, this is um, this is like the themes typography, but this is the API that I installed myself because I'm sorry, but the person whoever like designed or coded this template, they're worthless as, as far as I'm concerned because I had to recode a lot of stuff. So I use the font sale. So all of these fonts, all you have to do is go back over to Google fonts and then just kind of look them up. And what it does is that this code here, you're going to select at import and then you just copy this link here and then you place it in your header tag. So as you can see, all the fonts here that I have are directly in here. It's like Meriwether Family, Open Sans Family, Viota, Libre, Swap. And if you go to photoshopfantasy.com um, on your mobile browser, now you can see all the Google fonts because they weren't there before. And I mean, although that's not a huge deal, it it's the aesthetics for me. <laughs> so um, I looked everywhere on Google and, and, and on YouTube for a tutorial like this. And I even went on Stack, and the explanations here are just horrible, so I thought I'd make a YouTube video for you guys. And <clears throat> let's just say you wanted to add, like this is, mo this is adding multiple fonts, importing them as a style to your, to your theme on your website, so like that it can show up on your mobile phone for your viewers, your users. So, okay, so you can close that out. And if you wanna look for more fonts, you can. Um, just go back and I'm just gonna go back here and I just hit the back button, that's all I did. 
And then let, let's just say Roboto. I'm not using Roboto, but hey, you know, you know what I mean? So you just click on it, and then um, you just, if, if this is the one you want, you select this style, and then it's here. It's added here, and then you just click import, and then it will import that, that font too as well. So every single one that you import will add it, and then you just add it to your header tag, and then bam, you have Google Fonts now on your mobile. You're welcome. I hope this tutorial helped. If you loved it, give me a big thumbs up and a like, and thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time, bye.